Today, I have something really exciting to show you because this is gonna change how you work for the better. The Sabrent Thunderbolt 4 KVM switch is our all new KVM, providing not only an easy way to share one monitor between two systems, but also your keyboard, mouse, and other devices, all thanks to the power of Thunderbolt 4. There's a lot going on with this new Sabrent device, so let's just get into it. Hello everyone, my name's Mike, and here at Sabrent, we love to make and talk tech, so if that's what you're into, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. First of all, let's unbox this thing to show you what you get inside and then talk about some of its cool features. First of all, you get the instruction manual, which will go through some of the key points. You get some region specific power cables, two Sabrin Thunderbolt 4 cables, a switching power adapter, a magnetic plate, and lastly, you get the Sabrin Thunderbolt 4 KVM itself. This sleek Sabrin Thunderbolt 4 KVM switch is here and ready to help share your Thunderbolt and USB devices between two host computers to your high resolution display. It's an easy way to maximize your productivity for work and play. The KVM is designed to suit any desk setup, either in a gaming cave or at the office. Manufactured from high quality aluminum, not only does this thing look absolutely gorgeous, but it's built to withstand impact and dissipate heat to improve its lifespan. It comes with a 70 centimeter integrated cable for the switching button, meaning you can place this anywhere. And if you need to secure it, just use the metal plate to magnetically secure it to your desk. The button switch has clear LED indicators for source and PD statuses, meaning you know exactly what's happening with this KVM switch. With the included 24 volt 5 amp power adapter, it can support USB PD 3.0 charging at up to 60 watts for laptops and other PD charging compatible devices. Not only that, but it can provide up to 5 volt 2.4 amps over the USB A ports, with all ports having battery charging 1.2 support. Speaking of ports, let's Let's run through what you get with this thing. At the back of the KVM, you get a power port, three Thunderbolt 4 ports that are compatible of up to 40 gigabits per second speeds, and two Type A USB 3.2 Gen 2 by one ports that are compatible of up to 10 gigabit per second speeds. At the front, we have two further Type A USB 3.2 Gen 2 by one compatible of the same speeds, and then where the magic happens, you have two USB C Thunderbolt ports where you can connect and switch between two DisplayPort alternative mode compatible computers. It supports DisplayPort 1.4 at up to 8K 60Hz with DSC 1.2 enabled and 5K at 60Hz output with systems that support DP Alt mode over USB-C. As you can see, I have my MacBook and Windows PC connected to the Apple Studio display, which only has a Thunderbolt connection to connect to it. And it works great. With monitors that don't have a USB-C or Thunderbolt input, you can use the Thunderbolt 4 to DSC DP dongle or USB-C to DP dongle and they work great as well too. What all this means is that you can seamlessly switch between two computers or DisplayPort alternative mode compatible USB-C devices to an external display without the headache of switching cables or having to use two displays. The Sabrent Thunderbolt 4 KVM switch really does reclaim your workspace in style. This KVM has been in the works for a little while now at Sabrent and we are so pleased and proud of the result. For me personally, I love the functionality and ease of use. Just being able to share my devices between two systems and being able to just push a button and in a couple of seconds, I'm just ready to go on the other one is truly a time saver. If you wanna go ahead and pick one up, which I highly recommend you do, then I will have a link down in the description of this video for you to check out. But anyway, that's it for today's video. If you've enjoyed it, then make sure to smash that like button and also hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.